At just 18, a student from Seminole High School is striving to change the world through writing and with her nonprofit organization for women of all races and backgrounds. By combining her two passions, writing and politics, she hopes to make a big difference in her community. And she says today's generation deserves to be heard. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona introduces us to her. When you see movements that have been powered entirely by teenagers across the country, I would hesitate to say that teenagers aren't involved or making a difference in their communities. 18-year-old Malavika Kanan says you shouldn't underestimate her generation. Daughter of immigrant parents from India, she wants to be a voice for minority groups, whom she believes aren't traditionally represented. It's not because we don't have the talent or we don't have the stories or we don't have the ideas. It's because the world hasn't been listening to them. I really hope that my contributions have done a lot in terms of pushing the cultural needle forward. So I would like to think that I've changed cultural perspectives towards these groups and also empowered people to really speak their truth and start conversations in their communities. After the 2016 presidential election, her political interest awakened. That gave me the impetus to start getting involved politically, whether that was advocating against gun violence through March for Our Lives, or starting my own nonprofit organization, Homegirl Project, which politically empowers women of color. In 2018, she was a youth member chosen to help plan the Women's March in D.C. But her biggest passion is writing. Her pieces have been featured in the Washington Post, Teen Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, among other well-known publications. I think that fiction and storytelling is so powerful in terms of telling people who they can be and what kind of people they can look up to. Her first novel, The Book Weaver's Daughter, will be published next year. It's a middle grade feminist fantasy novel that's set in ancient India. So it's inspired by a lot of like the fantasy books I read growing up, like Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, Inkheart. But it definitely has a spin of social justice that I didn't consciously intend, but I think just came out because of the person that I am. Do you consider yourself a feminist? For sure. Why so? I think that it's outrageous not to be a feminist, to not want to see equality between people of all genders and all sexualities. Because I think that when we empower women, we empower the entire world. Malavika is now getting ready to attend Stanford University on a full scholarship. This is her acceptance letter. And although she's moving to the West Coast, she eventually wants to come back home where she says there's still lots of work to be done. Because I've been working here and doing grassroots and community organizing for like years now and really come back and see if I can change it from the other side of the door, which is like by actually running for office. Throughout the years, she's received numerous recognitions and awards. Last year, she won a national writing competition for the Library of Congress a young woman with aspirations of changing the world. I think teenage girls do a lot more than people give them credit for. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. And she She's has a lot brilliant. to get. Yeah. I mean, yes. even this summer she'll be interning on Capitol Hill. So, I mean... Nothing's stopping her. And she's saying that she hasn't decided on a major at Stanford, mm -hmm. but political science obviously mm -hmm. might yes. be the track she's headed down. Yes, if she is our future, I feel very hopeful. Right. All right, let's talk about your meme of the day. We have to give first off a shout out to Troy Bridges' <laughs> mom for sending this one in. She's an avid viewer. Mm, that was this funny. Florida heat <laughs> has turned my dog into a Publix rotisserie chicken. <laughs> that one made That's me about laugh. right. That yeah. is really about that, it that's right. It looks like it. All right, and we have to show you this. Okay, check this out. This landed on one of our new six vehicles yesterday. Oh, like Jurassic so, Park. So, yeah, people were taking pictures of it. This one taken by Clay Lepard and T. Taylor. Yeah, it says my name on it. I just forwarded. At least it's not a love bug. You know, I'd rather take a love bug on that one. Really? It's really? massive. It's That's the size of his hand. It's big. It's big. Do you, if anyone knows what the name of that type of moth is, let us know. It's a big debate in the newsroom. Uh-oh, settled the debate. Yeah, we're dorks about those things. All right, we got this big hot high. It's a big dome that has pretty much taken control of the entire eastern seaboard, and it's going to keep any system from bringing us any cooler relief, any rain, out of the picture. With that being said, expect more heat. You thought today was hot, or you thought yesterday was hot? Well, get ready. We're going to keep heating up each and every day. Right now, we're at 77 degrees, feeling pleasant. The humidity is not too bad. We're at 72 in the villages, 78 in Daytona Beach, 80 in Cocoa Beach, 79 in Melbourne. But look where we're heading. 92 degrees once again today. It all depends on how far uh, that East Coast sea breeze will push in. If it pushes in a little further, we might Top off at about 89, 90, but really 92 is what we are expecting today with lots of sunshine. Let's take a second right now to look at what the forecast is shaping up to be for Memorial Day. All right, it is going to be hot. So whether you have a pool 
or a sprinkler or one of those outdoor fun pools. I know Bridget had the little ones in there today, the little kiddie <laughs> pools. Uh, you might want to jump in with the kiddies on that one for the time <laughs> uh, Memorial Day rolls around. It is going to be 96 degrees. It is going to be hot. Mm -hmm. Further north around Gainesville, nearing 100 degrees. Wow. That's not feels like. We're talking actual temperatures. So it's getting dangerously hot. And no rain to really bring us down. Mm. They have those little Mr. Fans. Those Ooh, yeah. are good. Those yeah. are nice. That's nice. Well, we want to say thank you to our generous News 6 viewers. You helped get results for domestic violence survivors. Yesterday's Cram the Van event benefiting Harbor House of Central Florida was a success. The supplies you donated will help parents and kids as they prepare for a busy summer. Good, good uh, turnout, that's for yes. sure. Well, they call themselves the Knights of the Blind. For hours, they sift through thousands of pairs of recycled eyeglasses so they can be donated to those in need. It's great to be able to make a difference, get somebody sight. Volunteers with the Lions Club International are this week's Getting Results Award winners. The story's next. Hi, we're OfferPad, and we want to buy your home. Getting your offer is easy. Just go to OfferPad.com, tell us about your home, and we'll send you a competitive offer. Why sell the OfferPad? Because it's a better experience. No showings, you pick the closing date, and we'll even move you locally for free. We know what your home means to you, so we're committed to be with you every step of the way. Your online home buyer with a human touch. We've helped thousands of happy home sellers, and we'd love to help you. OfferPad, request your free purchase offer today. Sara Lee Artisano. Now there's more to love with two artisan style breads. The original Artisano and Artisano Golden Wheat with a touch of honey, olive oil, and sea salt. Plus bakery rolls with the same taste, soft texture, split top, and flour dusting. Taste how Sara Lee Artisano bread and rolls turn even your simplest meals mouth-wateringly memorable. Sara Lee Artisano Bakery Bread and Rolls. Make the routine remarkable. I was confused with AT&T's different packages, complicated contracts, and which internet speed was right for our devices. But I found my way out thanks to Spectrum. Switch to Spectrum with internet and TV for only $89.98 a month. Call 1-855-596-6345. With Spectrum Internet, my family can connect and stream videos at the same time with no data caps. Get Spectrum with internet starting at 100 megabits. Spectrum TV has our favorites, like BET, Bravo, and ESPN. Plus TV with over 125 channels with free HD and on-demand, both for just $89.98 a month. Call 1-855-596-6345. Plus, with the Spectrum TV app, we can watch live TV on our mobile devices. So glad we switched. How hard was it to switch? One call, one bill. And the best part? No contract. Spectrum will even buy out your current contract up to $500. I'll switch, too. Break free and switch to Spectrum Internet and TV for only $89.98 a month. Call 1-855-596-6345. Here's a question for you. If you had the flu, would you go to your accountant to get treated? Would you have your mechanic pull your teeth? Of course not. But too many times people are making the huge mistake of hiring the wrong lawyer for their personal injury case. Lawyers that are jack of all trades and masters of none. When you hire Morgan & Morgan, whether it's for workers' compensation or personal injury, you know your lawyer does just that all day, every single day. Morgan & Morgan, for the people, .com. Summer is just around the corner, meaning feels like temperatures will soon spike to the triple digits. Nothing worse on a hot day than getting into a car that's been baking in the sun for hours, especially if you have leather. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. the worst. Can't even touch a steering wheel. It seems impossible to get your car's AC cool enough in this heat, but it's not actually. ClickOrlando.com's Brandon Bowles is here with some helpful tips that will help you cool yours off pretty quickly in the Central Florida heat. Candace, it's tough, but it's not impossible. And on a hot summer like day like today, you want your car to be somewhere you can go to escape the heat, not be trapped in it. So Consumer Reports put its engineers to the test to offer tips on cooling your car while burning less fuel. Now their first tip, you don't want to pre-cool it, and I'm sure a lot of people do that. Your car's AC works much better when you're actually driving because the faster the engine turns, the faster the AC compressor runs. And if you let it run before you go, you're just wasting time and gas. If the interior is really hot, you can try cranking the fan up when you start driving and opening your back windows for about 10 to 20 seconds, and that's going to force all the hot air out of the cabin. Next, you want to keep the temperature 
low, right? That makes sense. A typical AC system cools air to 38 degrees. So if you set the temp higher, you're actually asking the system to do more work by reheating the air that you want lower anyway. Setting it to the lowest temperature and adjusting the fan allows it to work more efficiently and that's gonna save you some fuel. So their third tip, you want to not recirculate the air. Turn off recirculation mode if you have passengers in your back seat. Otherwise, it takes air from the front and pulls it back through the system, which keeps everyone in the front cool, but it lets the air in the back get stale and hot. Now, tip number four might surprise you because you think the auto button's a good thing, but you may want to turn the auto feature off because while it can save you some fuel, it can also keep the air conditioning compressor from running when it shuts off the engine. So if you're at a long red light or stuck in bumper to bumper traffic on I-4 like we all are every single day, you're going to start to feel the lack of cool air pretty quickly. And then finally, last on their list, you want to make sure that your filter is clean. So check your cabin air filter. A dirty filter prevents optimal airflow. If yours has a lot of dirt built up, it may be time to change it. Now I have a feeling 